Push-ups are one of the most fundamental bodyweight exercises and are very popular. The movement is simple, can be done everywhere and it's very effective because you are using a lot of muscles at the same time. Sounds good, right? The problem is that a lot of people concentrate on quantity instead of quality when doing push-ups. To avoid this you should focus on these four points to make your push-ups perfect. Let's start straight with the number one, the body position. A push-up is not only a triceps, chest and shoulder movement. Most people neglect their tension in the abdominal muscles, the hips and the legs. Often they form an arched back and have a lack in body tension. To avoid this tilt your pelvis backward and keep your butt squeezed tight. The movement gets a lot harder with this but it's also more effective. The second point is the arm position. The arm position doesn't really matter in terms of the perfect execution. A perfect push-up can be done with a wide or a narrow grip, but it's important to place your wrists in a nearly vertical line under your shoulder when you do the standard push-up. There are still exceptions for that rule, for example when you are doing pseudo planche push-ups which puts the focus more on your shoulder. Or when you're doing Sphinx push-ups which are a triceps dominant movement. If you are working with standard push-ups and choose a wider grip, it involves the chest more than a close grip and a close grip sets the focus more on your triceps. The only thing you should avoid completely are out flared elbows because this puts a lot of stress on your shoulder, which can lead to injuries. The closer you place your arms to the body, the more your elbows point backwards. The wider you place your arms, the more your elbows going away from your body, but they still point more backwards than to the side. The third point is the range of motion. This is quite simple, just don't cheat. Go all the way up and all the way down and let your body straight. Don't decrease the range of motion by bringing your head forward or your hips down. The last point is the shoulder blade movement. This is a very neglected point. When you are going down your shoulder blades come together and when you are going up they go apart. You should also focus on pushing them downward instead of upward. But don't forget, there is still difference between a passive and an active way of this shoulder blade movement. If you are too weak in the shoulder girdle, your shoulder blades come together because you are not able to hold your body against the gravity. You can see this especially at the top of the movement. When you are going down, always focus on the tension and an active shoulder blade movement. Don't let yourself fall down into your structures. If you consider all those points and try it on your own, you will notice that it's much harder to do. Maybe your amount of maximum repetitions will drop, but that doesn't matter. Always focus on quality over quantity and you will be rewarded with progress and a healthy body. If you have any questions to this topic, just leave a comment. Thank you, Alex.